Following several years of 20 plus percent returns in the equity markets and a long running bull market in fixed income, 2022 was a reminder that volatility exists and we can see declines in the market. When you invest in the equity markets, you can expect to receive about an 8% annual return over the long term, but you also have to be able to withstand declines and corrections. And those, while uncomfortable, they're a part of investing in the markets. But keep in mind, since 1926, the S&P 500 index has provided a positive calendar year return almost 75% of the time. So that's why for most of our clients, we have a strategic allocation to equities. But we do have the ability to make tactical adjustments, overweight, underweight asset classes based on the risks and the opportunities we're seeing. So Matt, what, what are we seeing? What are your thoughts on equities right now? Equities right now trade at the higher end of their historical range from a valuation standpoint. So that's not a disqualifier in and of itself. But what I'm worried about is margins. Corporate margins are being impacted by higher inflation, slowing growth, and high uh, unit labor costs. And those three factors could cause earnings to come in below what expectations are. So as a result of these fears, we're actually underweight equities in our portfolios, and we're looking for an opportunity to add to equities at lower price levels. So I am concerned also, Matt, with some of the points that you brought up about the high valuations in the public equity markets. But for those that have a little bit of money to invest, <laughs> they don't have to go to the public equity markets now. There are alternatives. I mean, you've got the Fed funds rate up at, you know, above 5%. It's brought deposit rates, CD rates, money market fund yields that aren't at zero any longer. They're providing some return. And beyond that, you don't have to take even that much more risk and you can get returns above inflation now. So there are alternatives to public equities. Yeah, I think that's important, Brian. The other important thing to remember is that bear markets never feel good, but we've been through them before. We've been through these economic cycles before. And in fact, our asset allocation process, the way we uh, think about managing risk and pursuing returns, it takes into account periods just like this, just like we went through 2022, what we may be looking at as we move forward. And so this is really one of those times when we need to understand that normal market volatility, as you talked about, Melissa, that's not a reason to change your investment objective. There's nothing that's going on in the market now or what we're looking at that is outside the range of what we would expect looking at the longer term history of the markets.